buy low, sell high to invest in your financial goals. Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1,968. Wow. Of our Get Your Gold, not Get Your Gold Dining Challenge, of our What You Have to Now. Documenting the journey originally on side transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. Now this month in this year's Get Up and Go Challenge, not Get Up and Go Challenge, Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Get Up and Go Challenge was 2020 and 2021. Every other month I did a 30 plus day challenge to keep myself and all of us moving forward during the crazy times that was the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I think we'll look back on that time for the next at least couple of decades and say, WTF, what was going on in the world? Because it was definitely a ridiculously handled chaotic BS, in my personal opinion, time that impacted literally almost everyone on the planet, right? I'm sure there were people that were unscathed. I consider myself pretty unscathed, but there were a lot of people that were devastated by the changes and the challenges that arose out of this particular situation. So today, created a couple pieces of content. The first was uh, the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge, where we're doing one thing every day to get what we want. We're focusing on the area of financial well-being, financial health, financial goals this month. And as part of that, I'm sharing a bunch of different key indicators and topics about financial goals, financial well-being, financial health. And today's topic is investment. I think I shared five different factors we consider when we're looking at different types of investments, different types of investments. I think I shared at least eight different types of investments that we can make. I will contend, and I didn't talk about this, the best possible investment you can make, bar none, is in yourself, in yourself, in your personal development, in your education, and becoming the best possible version of yourself. I don't care what anyone says, you are always the best investment because it's the one thing you have 100% control over. Everything else is impacted and controlled by things outside of our personal ability to influence or impact or control them. And all of us, we want a little modicum of control in our life, so why not invest in the most important thing and that is always going to be you. Uh, I'm fascinated by how many people have zero interest in learning, growing, are curious about nothing, or just going through the motions of their life and, and not looking for ways to make a positive impact or be a better version of themselves. They're, the vast majority of the people, guess what? They don't want to do that. Why? Because it looks a lot like work, right? It takes time and energy to become a better version of yourself. But it is the best investment and best choice you can always make. And I just remembered, I didn't even talk about that today. Maybe I'll mention it tomorrow in the challenge because I think it's so important. Maybe it deserves a whole day of, of discussion. So talk about that. Our, t our idiom for today for Super Size Your Business was buy low and sell high. And I got to thinking about the different industries and different businesses I've been involved in. And I cannot think of a single one that didn't have an element of this philosophy, this principle, that we buy something or we create something and we add more value to it and then we sell it at a higher price than it costs us to create, right? Think I, I can't think of one. I'd love if you'd share in the comments below an industry or a business that doesn't follow that same principle and philosophy. Even nonprofit businesses acquire things, whether they're donated, they get resources and they turn around and they trade those trinkets or those prizes or those awards like you know certificates or sign things or whatever for people donating money to their organization that is an example of getting for free and then using it as a way to get donations that's still an example of buy low sell high at least in my definition anyway so that was our topic and our idiom for today Working on a bunch of different projects, writing a book, which is always challenging and fun. Um, hanging out with my beautiful granddaughters. It's summer where I live, so summer is all about family and get together and friends. And so I like to participate in those social things just like the next person, the next grandma. And I love hanging out with my granddaughters. So that is actually how I like to spend my free time and fun. If I can help you in any way, if you've got any offline business questions or online business questions that you're having a hard time finding an answer to and you just need somebody to bounce the idea off of or you need somebody who might know somebody that can help you with that specific thing, hit me up. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I'll be with you tomorrow just to fill you in on what's working, what's not working in my little neck of the woods. Have a great day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.